If you are pursuing the EB1B route of getting your green card, this one is for you. To qualify for this category of getting your green card, you have to demonstrate to the USCIS officer that you are an extra ordinary researcher. Extraordinary? Dude, I don't even feel like an ordinary researcher. This is exactly how I felt when I started the EB1B process. But little by little, I worked my way up to becoming a strong researcher. If you are in the same boat as I was, here are three things you can do to become a stronger researcher. Number one, submit to pre-conferences. For example, one of the most prestigious conferences in my field of work at the time was International Communication Association or ICA. For years, I tried to get my research papers into ICA but with no luck. But in 2018, I realized that ICA had something called pre-conferences and the rejection rate of pre-conference ICA was much lower than the rejection rate of the main conference. So I submitted my paper at the pre-conference and it got accepted. One year later in 2019, my paper got accepted as a poster presentation in ICA. And ultimately in 2020, my paper got accepted at ICA. Like I said, work your way up to it. Number two, apply to research symposiums. In 2017, I was still figuring out my niche in the area of online dating research. During that year, I got to know that Penn State University's Department of Communication was hosting a research symposium. At that symposium, elite scholars would discuss the new developments in communication and technology. Right up my alley. So I put a proposal together to validate my fledgling idea enough for me to get into that research symposium. My proposal got accepted and I got an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with these scholars to refine my research idea. Look for these low-stake opportunities where you can test out your research ideas. And number three, shadow strong researchers. As you go to conferences, symposiums, and workshops, build relationships with researchers whose work you like and volunteer to help them in their research efforts. As you interact with them, you will learn firsthand the skills that you need to become a strong researcher. It's like they say, if you want to lead, you first must follow. In sum, if you want to eventually be an extraordinary researcher, do three things. Number one, apply to pre-conferences. Number two, apply to research symposiums. And number three, follow strong researchers. You got this.